Hey guys, this is Elias with Softly, and today we have an interesting video where we showcase our Metabox import add-on for WPOL import. Now, if you need to import uh, your data to WordPress using WPOL import and you're using Metabox to handle your custom fields and custom post types and whatnot, then this video and this add-on is for you. Now, uh, let's just set up an import real quick, right? We're gonna import some restaurants which we created with Metabox. Right, so we're gonna select from this pull down restaurants and we're gonna create new restaurants for each record in my data file. I'm gonna continue to step two, and here in step two, we just need to double check that WPL import is detecting correctly all of the rows and all of the data. And this seems to be the case, so I'm gonna continue to step three. And here in step three, let's just drag and drop these values really quick. Right, this is the title, the description, and here we're gonna set our featured image. I'm gonna leave these settings as they are, right? And we're gonna focus on the Metabox add-on section. Now, uh, here we have the group field we created with Metabox, so I'm gonna enable that. And here we have all of the different fields we created for the restaurant's uh, post type. Now, I'm gonna uh, walk you through them real quick. I'm gonna add a new restaurant here. And here we have all five tabs. Now, uh, here we have in this first one, a bunch of simple text fields. Right here, we have a time picker, another time picker, and a date picker. Then we have a radio field checkbox, select some other text fields. Uh, here we have an image advanced field. Uh, this is a radio field, which, uh, same as the uh, reading one, it has a value and a label. Now, the value of this uh, element right here is five. Of this one is four, three, two, and one, but the label is five dollar signs, uh, four dollar signs, same as here, just with stars instead of uh, dollar signs, right? So uh, here we have a uh, another simple text field, and here is a clonable group. Now this clonable group has uh, three subfields, right? A simple text, text area, and number. And if I hit here uh, in the add more button, it will keep adding subgroups uh, infinitely, right? This is a clonable group, guys, and we have another one here for the reviews, which we're gonna get imported with WPL import. So let's get on with that and start dragging and dropping some stuff here. So here we have our map address, and then we have our street, country, state, city, and finally, neighborhood. Cool. So this is the first batch and it's very straightforward. This is just uh, simple text. So let's move on to some more interesting stuff like this time picker. Now guys, if you click here on the time picker box, you will see this UI, which will allow you to set up uh, a time here uh, directly from the UI. And you can do that, but uh, then all of the 1200 restaurants will have this exact same uh, opening time. And we don't want that because we actually have here an element uh, that specifies the opening times for each restaurant, right? So I'm gonna drag and drop that here, and WPL import will use the str 2 time function to translate from whatever uh, time format you have here to whatever time format Metabox is using, right? So I'm gonna drag and drop the closing hours too, and the open scenes uh, field, which is a date picker. Now this date picker works the same way, you could select a value from here, or you can use a value from your import file and WPL import will translate that so Metabox can read it, right? Now, uh, here for the rating, we could select a value from here, same situation, but if we set this to five stars, then that will mean that all of these 1200 restaurants will have the same value and we don't want that because we actually have here the values for each restaurant. So this guy has uh, five stars, this one has two stars. So now, all of these are fake restaurants, of course, so nothing to worry here. Uh, but let's just drag and drop the rating here and keep on with our import. Now, here we have the cuisine, same situation. We will select one from here, but we're going to set this with expat. Drag and drop that, all right? Same with the dress code, uh, which is here. All right. Then the chef's name, phone number, all right? Website. Cool, these are simple text, so they are very straightforward. And here we have our gallery field. Now I'm gonna drag and drop this gallery element here, 
and if I zoom in, you can see that these two URLs are separated with the comma. So I need to set that up here. Uh, here is the separator. And with this, WP import will be able to uh, download the images from these URLs. Now I'm going to enable this option to search through the media library before importing new ones. And I'm going to match this by URL. Now what this means is that WP import will compare each one of these images before downloading them. And if that image already exists in our site, then WPL import won't download that image, but it will use the one that already exists. So this is pretty cool because that prevents us from uh, getting some duplicate images and whatnot. So I'm going to uh, keep that enabled. Now here for the price range, we have the same situation set with expat. And this is the value we want. Expense. Here, let's drag and drop the average price. And here we have arrived to our uh, turnable groups. We have the recommended dishes and the reviews. Now you have two ways of importing uh, clonable groups. You have the fixed way and the variable CSV way in this example. If you're using uh, an XML file, you can use the variable XML. But today we're going to use the CSV one. Now the way this works uh, is the following. If you have in your file a fixed number of uh, clonable groups you need to import, you want to use this fixed uh, repeater mode. Now in this example, we have this menu name one, menu description one, menu uh, menu price one, and then we have two, 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 name three, description three, menu price three, menu four, description four, and price four. And each one of these 1200 restaurants have the same number of recommended dishes. So I'm gonna add here four rows, right? And then I'm gonna drag and drop the values like so. This is the menu name one, menu description one, and menu price one. Cool. Let's do the same with the others, right? This is the second uh, group. Then the third one. All right. And finally, the fourth one. Cool. So with this WP import, we'll create four different recommended dishes here, right? And it will be the same number, right, for each one of these 1200 restaurants. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, we will find our reviews clonable group. And this one is slightly different. Here we have our review name, the review comment, and the review rating. Now, uh, you can see this guy here, Aaron Turner. He wrote this comment, right? and he left this rating. As you can see, these values are being separated by pipes. So for example, this Alison Mayer, she wrote uh, this uh, comment and left this value as the star rating. So uh, we're gonna drag and drop the name here. We're gonna drag and drop the comment here and we're gonna drag and drop the rating here. And we're gonna make sure that we're using the same separator character here. Now. Why do these two are different? Well, you can see this restaurant, this uh, the like diner has five different reviews, right? But this second one, this Harbor House has six. And this one has five again. And this one has like, what, seven? Yeah, seven different reviews. So this is a variable number of repeating elements, right? So uh, this way, WPL import will create as many as needed in this clonable group right here in the reviews tab. Cool. Now, guys, I want to enable this ignore blank fields option. And it says if the value of the element or column in your file is blank, it will be ignored. Use this option when some records in your file have a different number of repeating elements than others. Now, this is the case. So again, I'm going to enable that. And with this, we're done with the Metabox add-on. Now you can see we used a bunch of different fields and you can import all of those and more with WPL import using the Metabox add-on. Now let's just set up the taxonomies real quick. Here we have the cuisine. Then we have the booking speed, which is right here. Cool. And then the availability. Great. So these options, we're going to skip them. Uh, same with these ones, we're going to uh, keep this as it is, right? So uh, in this step, just click here on the auto attack button. WPL import will take care of that for you. And if you want to know more about this or any of the other settings we just uh, blast through, 
uh, in the previous step, just go to our website at wplimport.com or check out the other videos in our channel. And if even after that you still have some questions, just contact or support them and we will be more than happy to help you out. Now I'm going to continue and run this import. And this is going to take a minute or two while WPL import downloads all of the images. So I'm going to pause the video here and come back when it's ready. All right, guys, so WPL import is finished importing our Metabox custom fields. So let's check them out. And here we have 1200 restaurants, which is great. This is the number of restaurants we expected. Uh, let's see how this looks in the front end where we have this beautiful website and here uh, just out of the top we can see that uh, we have some data, we have the title, here is the uh, the star ratings, here we have the uh, how expensive it is, right? Uh, here is the cuisine, the, this is the city, this is the booking speed and the availability of these uh, restaurants. So let's open this one up, see what's going on here. Uh, here is our feature image and here is our Metabox. Uh, custom fields. This is the star rating. This is uh, the average price. This is the cuisine. This is the open sinks. Description, the different taxonomies. This is the address, neighborhood, open and close at, uh, price, cuisine, dress code, the chef, uh, the phone number, website. And here we have, of course, the gallery, which remember guys, we used an image advanced field. All right. Here is our first clonable group, the uh, recommended dishes one, and this is looking real nice. Here we have the address and the reviews. So uh, all of this is looking real nice, guys. You can see that uh, here in the edit restaurant page, we have all of the data set up too. So this is great. And there you have it. That's it. That's how you import Metabox custom fields using WPL import and the Metabox import add-on. Now guys, remember, if you're using Metabox to handle your custom fields or custom post types or whatever, and you need to import or export data to and from them, you can get the import and export add-ons for Metabox at wplimport.com. And if you have any questions whatsoever regarding those add-ons or anything really, just contact or support them and we will be more than happy to help you out with those. All right? for now, hope you like this video and see you next time.